uh, some of the most important uh, issues facing enterprises for adoption of wireless LANs include uh, wireless LAN security, making sure it's easy to implement, making sure that it's standards based, uh, making sure that that it's uh, something that the average administrator with a minimal amount of training uh, can can get out there and get it in place quickly. I think another uh, roadblock is education uh, where uh, the average uh, implementer of Wi-Fi technology uh, needs to be able to uh, quickly deploy this technology, not just um, you know, have to take class after class to be able to get something in place, but be able to get it out there quickly, uh, just like it's a utility, for example. Vendors have really uh, missed the market uh, in a couple of areas. Uh, one is they, they implement uh, products uh, in, in the beginning with a base level of technology and features. And I think as time goes on, in order to be competitive, they continue to, to pack more and more features into the products until they become so feature rich that they're, they become unusable. Uh, 802.11n adoption is vital to uh, this industry's future as well as vendors in this uh, market because I think 802.11n technology has uh, all of the resilience and I think uh, the capacity uh, for a, a bright future, for a long future. It's vital to implement 802.11n in such a way that it's, that it's cost effective and that it performs properly. Uh, ease of use is the number one most important uh, thing in Wi-Fi and you can quote me on that. I think that uh, in order for us to move to a more utility-like uh, uh, implementation of Wi-Fi rather than it just being another IT project, I think we have to have ease of use. It has to be something that we don't think about, we just do. Uh, and I think that uh, we don't see that currently in the market. Uh, very few vendors can make that claim. So I think that uh, Ruckus in particular uh, can make that claim uh, right now, but that they're in the minority. Another big problem is that Wi-Fi manufacturers um, don't see that as a priority. I think that they're looking at feature sets and what uh, what wild capability or what, what weird scenario can I make my equipment fit into and they're not thinking about let's just make this stuff work under um, you know in the base situation you know can we just plug it in and it be reliable can it just work like Ethernet forget the bells and whistles you know uh, of every scenario conceivable for now, let's just make it work. And then as time goes on, we'll talk about you know bells and whistles. But ease of use, plug and play, that should be number one priority and, and very few vendors, if any other than Ruckus, I don't know about them, uh, can make that claim currently. I think another place is transmit beam forming uh, technology is something that uh, is very unique to Ruckus. Uh, this is a, a, a technology where that Ruckus is so far ahead uh, in the antenna technology uh, that we're, the other vendors are having to wait on the chipsets uh, that will have the transmit beam forming uh, capabilities in them and that are IEEE compliant, uh, whereas Ruckus has done this themselves. Uh, and that means they can run ahead of the market uh, and, and offer uh, capabilities that other vendors don't have, but all, other, all the other vendors are having to wait on the same chipset capabilities and standardization. I think that's a huge advantage and I think that's a, that's a value proposition that nobody else can offer. There's so much bad uh, implementation, there's so many varying scenarios uh, out there that you have to, uh, if you want good performance, you have to allot for those things, account for those things, and so you have to build a system that can, uh, can perform well even in a bad RF environment. Whether the RF environment uh, is bad because of bad implementation or non-Wi-Fi devices or any number of other things, the, the system still has to perform well. And so uh, you can't say, well, it's a utility, but it only works uh, as long as there's no other Wi-Fi or there's no microwave ovens. You, you have to have it uh, you know, work in all situations to some given performance level. And I think that uh, that's another uh, key item when you're talking about it as a utility. It's the same scenario with power. You don't say, well, the power works except for when. It's the power works, end of story. So I think that uh, if you're going to talk about Wi-Fi as, uh, as a utility, you've got to take into consideration performance, security, implementation, standards-based, and all of these things all roll together. Another, uh, another piece that I've seen personally in working with Ruckus that's a, a big uh, value add or a, a value proposition is customer service. 
Uh, I've seen a, uh, on TV from time to time, uh, there's a company called Rackspace that goes on and on about how, how their customer service is just crazy. Well, I, I've seen that type of thing from Ruckus. Where they don't advertise it. They don't, uh, they don't make a big deal of it, but you actually get that type of um, crazy uh, customer service. They're willing to go overboard to make their customers happy. Uh, and being a partner uh, with them, you know, with education, uh, we've seen that they've gone out of their way to make sure we have always ha have what we need, that we're taken care of, that all the questions are answered. And so customer service seems to be a tremendous focus uh, with these guys. So uh, I would say that that's a value proposition as well.